Oh, yes, yes. <coughs> yes, he, he's gone, yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, will you bring me a drink, please? Yes, sir. And uh, tell my mother-in-law that my cold seems to be so much worse that I'll probably be getting to bed early. Yes, sir. yes. Boy, you're a wonder. Say, if you could fool my mother-in-law, I'll pay you $500, and I'll make you an offer to retain you regularly. Huh? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I almost forgot. There you are. Every little bit helps. Oh, thanks. You don't miss a trick. You must have been out before. Now you're all set? Well, not quite. I think you better turn down some of the lights. I don't want to take any chances with mother -in -law. There you are. Now the house is yours. If you want me, you'll find me at the hotel at five Hey, hey, wait. What do you call your mother-in-law? Oh, uh, 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 everything. You'll be perfectly safe if you stick to the mother. Well, I hear loose moments calling. Ta ta. Excuse me, I'm very busy. Oh, where are you going? Well, I'm going to bed. But you mustn't. You mustn't go to bed. Not before you get your little surprise. I'm sorry, mother law you have to keep it until the morning. Oh, Richard, you're so stupid. Madeline, your wife is home again. My wife? Homecoming kiss? Mm -hmm. The one I was writing you about? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I'm, 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 I'm saving it until... Oh, shh, you silly, puffy goose. No, I mean, I'm saving it until we... Uh, uh, until my cold gets better. No cold? Have you a cold, sweetheart? Oh, it's frightful. Oh. I wouldn't dare kiss you. Oh. Besides, if, if anyone saw us. Andrews, leave the room. Leave the room. No, don't anyone dare to leave this room. And I wouldn't think so closely, did I? Oh, no, 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 really, in the condition I'm in, oh, it, it, it's, it's dangerous. Shh, statistics, I'm not afraid. Well, that's because you have no idea what's ahead of us. Yeah, uh -huh. Has something gone wrong? Oh. Dickie, you're keeping something from us. Yeah. Must turn up the lights and work. No, 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 don't dare turn up those lights. Dickie, what is the matter? Well, because then you, I mean, I, my eyes are oh. all swollen with the cold. Oh. Andrew, get me a stimulant. Are you in serious trouble here? Oh, it's probably fatal. Oh, if I had any idea that you were coming home, I wouldn't have been here. What? No. I, I mean, in the condition I'm in. Oh, Dickie. Well, there's just one thing to be done. I have to go. Go? Where? Out. Downtown. Downtown now? Tonight? Oh, I should have gone ten minutes ago. Important engagement. The hotel asked her. Well, I know my precious husband the way I think I do. He'll telephone and cancel that engagement, won't you, Dickie? Telephone? Who? I mean, is there a, tele a telephone? Of course. Of course you can. Yeah, get the ask you on the wire. Don't tell Astor on the telephone. Yes, yes please. Wait, what do you mean? Any telephone can be done around here? I'll do it myself. Oh. Uh, well, uh, maybe I, I, I'll wait. I'll wait until you get ready to go to, until we both get ready. Well, maybe before that. Oh, I knew you would. You know, I'm simply dying to get comfortable in my own little bed again and have a nice long talk with you, honey. Oh, there's nothing I like better than to sit on the edge of the bed and listen to you, but... Oh, how thoughtless of me. After your long trip, dear, you must be tired. Oh. 
Oh, I'm not a bit tired, really. Why, the two months in the mountains have done me a world of good. Do you? You're telephone, Lady Richard. Our man will get out of your traveling clothes and get something more popular. Yes, we'll take you for the moment. And Dixie. I bought a new lace nighty yesterday that's positively in Dixie. Wait till you see it. Oh, I was going down to see if the front door was locked. You know Andrew was always locked. Oh, well, I thought tonight he might have forgotten. Richard Smith, after all you promised Madeline, are you planning to desert her? Desert her? Why? Well, <laughs> her, her first evening home in two months, and you... Richard, have you no human feelings at all? That's just the trouble. I'm too human. A lovely, devoted wife like Madeline. Surely she's entitled to some consideration. Well, he's a brother elk. What's that? Uh, what? Uh, uh, Bobby, you don't understand. You see, this sudden return, it's been an awful shock, an awful shock to my whole system. My throat, my voice. <laughs> Good throat, voice, all gone. <laughs> well, she doesn't want you to sing to her. What she wants more than anything else in the world is a nice, long talk with you. Hmm. Oh, if I could be depend on that. Now, Richard, don't delay your telephone another minute. What telephone? Oh, telephone, yes, is it one of the number? <laughs> Good night, Madeline, dear. So glad to have you home again. Good night, Pleasant reading. <laughs> Hello? Hotel Aston? Good night, good night Richard, dear. Huh? Yes, uh, good night. Hello, Hotel Aston? Will you get Mr. Uh, Richard Smith? Page Mr. Richard Smith, yes. Tell him to telephone his home immediately. Important? Oh, it's vital. Mr. Richard Smith. Thank you. Tired, sweetheart? Tired? I never was so tired in all my... Please come out of that doorway, will you? Tell me, have you been a good boy since I've been away? Oh, I'm in more danger right now than I have been in the past two months. Please, please go away and let me die or go crazy or something. Go away? Dickie, you're not well. Don't you suppose I know it? Haven't I been telling you that for the past half hour in those very words? That telephone didn't ring, did it? No, dear. I'm afraid you've been doing too much brain work. Uh, that's it. It's my brain. It's on fire. It's fever. I can't think. You can't think? No. Yes. I, I, the only things I can think of are the things that I should That was the telephone bell then, was it? Dick, you're trembling all over. I don't suppose I know it. I'd rather than put to pieces any moment. The telephone isn't out of order, is it? Oh, bother the old phone. Thank goodness I've arrived in time to prevent another nervous breakdown like you had last year. That's it. Nervous combustion. I've been trying to keep it from you. Uh, send for an ambulance, quick. Ambulance? Nothing. I'm going to take care of you myself. Now, come on. Now, the first thing to do is to put you to bed. That is the last thing. Now, don't argue, dear. Now, now, I'm going to give you a nice old-fashioned alcohol rub down. No, 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 no. I, 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 I couldn't stand it. Oh, no, I don't like it. Madeline knows best. Now, put your head right down here. There, put your little head right down. No, 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 I'm afraid. You're afraid? Yes, I'm afraid. You, you might catch my cold. Oh, the bother, you old cold. Now, Madeline knows how to take care of my dicky bird. Come on, put your little head right down there. Come on. My poor nervous dicky boy. Now, before anything else, sweetheart, that great big homecoming kiss. Never. Oh, yes. Never. Oh, now, come Never. on. Now, come on. Now, come on. Now, come on. Too 
In order to procure a divorce in this state, you must have evidence. What kind of evidence? Well, evidence of a very serious nature. How serious? Well, you see, uh, you must produce evidence that your husband has been, uh, has been, uh, that is to say, you must explain that you have discovered him. And not only him, but, uh... Well, I don't know what you mean, Mrs. Smith. You have to get the goods on him. In other words, you have to prove that he has, uh, uh... Where do you come from, Mrs. Mayor? I came from South Dakota. Oh, I don't blame you. Well, out in South Dakota, don't they ever, uh, ever, uh... Ever what, Mr. Smith? No, there's no use of us going to South Dakota. You may just as well stay here. Did you ever see a bedroom class? Oh, you mean the kind where the wrong man hides under the bed? And a girlie. Now we're getting uh -huh. it. <laughs> Only in this case, you see, the wrong man must not only be, uh, but, uh... But what, Mr. Smith? Oh, really, really. There's no use of our talking until we can find an interpreter. Or until we get to know each other better. Oh. Oh, he's your friend. <laughs> Just in time. Won't you sit down? Oh, nothing this more. Didn't you say something about the Hoopy Club? Diane's never been up on the roof there. Have you, darling? Oh, my husband never takes me any place. Oh, you poor girl. Well, Mr. Smith is going to fix all that, aren't you? Uh, fix the roof? Oh, oh. Oh, oh yes. man. <laughs> well, you we'll start on the roof. And finish in the back. Oh, Mr. Smith. Hey, Sergeant, Mom. You're paralyzed. Not paralyzed. Can't you see me moving? Where are you going? Give this to the tailor. He's waiting. If you only knew. Oh, now oh, you really have something to tell me. I'll tell the world that I have. Oh, never mind the world. Tell me. <laughs> was Dickie really glad to have you home again? Glad? He was beside himself. Oh, Mother, this is going to be the turning point in Dickie's married life. Oh, no. Wait till I tell you everything. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm just going to congratulate Dickie. No, I wouldn't do that. Don't disturb him. He's mad. Shall I have your breakfast here in the room? No. I'm going for a walk before breakfast this morning. I feel as if the world is mine. At last I have what I've been hoping for. You have? How do you do? A hold on my husband that he'll never be able to break. Oh, you darling! Peter Peter Idea. At this time of the morning, don't. When Mr. Smith wakes, he'll attend to you, my man. My man, indeed. Huh. And my man, I'm nobody's man but my own. Oh, Mr. Smith, I think you ought to have a little more respect for your wife. Oh, Mrs. Smith, you know what I'm talking about. 